Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how I personally read an, uh, a comprehensive report. So I'm going to click on comprehensive. I already have a report done. Um, just a quick reminder and then go over this in basic training. I overlooked it the first time and I love this, but if you are running an easy scan or a vitals, inner voice, whatever, any of the combination, however you're running your scan, if you um, look at this intelligent scan. This is the one that will pull information from inner voice and vitals and suggest what to um, scan. So if you click on this inner voice, it'll already have things highlighted to scan. If we can find any, there they are. Um, and so if it's under the inner voice category of what maybe should be scanned, it's going to be related more towards the emotions. And if you go back, which... There we go. And click on the vitals. Then this one will have different things um, selected as suggestions for scanning. And this is more related to that physical body. So it's kind of fun occasionally to look back and see like, okay, what's more emotionally related? What's more physically, physically related? Sometimes they are both. So um, it's just fun to see. I like to see that. Um, but then you can click on combined. Um, again, if you have ran an easy scan, you can click on combined and see the full report, or you can, of course, scan and optimize and then look at your report. Um, whenever you pull this up, you can always choose a variety of things to add or um, take off by just clicking and unclicking. Um, I don't recommend doing a select all just because it's a lot of frequencies on the body. Um, if you're wanting to kind of go through each category, I recommend doing maybe one or two times a day choosing an area that you want to support or look at. Um, an example of something I will do for a specific issue um, would be, uh, I've done this on my son, I've done this on my husband for his knee, I've done it on my son for his um, legs, but go through and look at, okay, I want to do everything for the leg. So I'll do the leg and the leg, and then um, I'll look at the, you know, the left knee, the right knee, the foot, the, anyway, you kind of get the picture just to kind of um, hone in on what might be the issue. So if you've looked at all of those different um, areas of the leg and you can see what things are a little more out of, um, that are, are further away from ideal. And then you can kind of see, okay, so it's not really a circulation issue. It's more of a connective tissue issue, a connective tissue issue, or it could be more of a bone related issue. Um, so I like to kind of utilize it that way. Because I did this as an easy scan, it's going to kind of be in a little bit of a jumble. Um, I love running this separate because then it's in alphabetical order, but that's okay. So really quick, how to read this report. You will see the category and area here. Um, if you click on the body, it'll pull up a body and you can kind of see where in the body it is. And then the percentage from ideal. Ideal is zero. So the furthest away you get from zero, the more you want to pay attention. Um, I typically start kind of paying attention a little more around 30s. And if it is over high 30s or above, I really um, want to support that with Cephes, with lifestyle changes, um, with potentially doing another optimization in 20 minutes, um, just to support that area of the body a little more. Um, again, I am just a, I want to utilize this for health. I want to empower people for empowering themselves. So I don't know everything. So I can look at this heart and I'm like, I don't know what any of these things are. I am not a heart doctor. I am not a specialist. I have not learned all the things there is to know about a heart. So I will kind of look at it. I kind of take note. Again, I'm writing a lot of things down when I'm working with clients or I'm wanting to really work on something for myself. Um, so it might just be that I look at the heart and I mark that the heart needs support. If there are some areas where I do know a little bit more, I'll mark specific areas um, down for that. Like there's an ovary. I know what an ovary is. Um, and I mark down um, how much from ideal it is and any notes that I'm like, oh, that's something that I want to pay attention to. Um, and um, I'm just going to get like this one is 18. It's the thyroid. Nothing is even in red. So I'm like, all right, that's looking good. This left adrenal gland is a little funky. So I might want to support my adrenal glands. Um, the digestive system, I know what the liver is. 
I um, could, you know, run some frequencies for the liver, maybe take in a uh, tincture or a supplement that would support my liver. Um, same with the gallbladder, really just looking at what is out of balance, taking note of it and empowering yourself to um, make a shift, really focusing on that lifestyle shift and then um, tracking patterns, seeing if there's anything that you might want to pay attention to. Um, there's the mitochondria, the, the neck. So like I know um, like the salivatory gland a little bit. I know that the the parathyroid gland and the thyroid gland, those are currently like okay. Um, the thymus is really important area too. So, and there's actually a frequency for the thymus. So just kind of going through each thing, looking at it, seeing how far from ideal it is and taking note and kind of coming up with a plan of support. And then, um, and then there's the eyes. Um, so I hope that this was super helpful for you. I am going to scroll back here just a quick second. This database is likely, um, faded out for you. You can't click it. Um, to access the database, you have to have completed basic training, phase one and phase two. Basic training is free. Phase one, I, I don't remember the price on, on all of these. I believe it was 150. And then phase two, I think is a little, I think it's 300. Um, and then there's a third phase as well. Um, but phase two opens up this database and you can look at um, a little more detail with the specific areas of the body. Um, and then phase three opens a few more categories with the database. I have completed all three phases. So I have all of it. So um, I'm just going to kind of show you like two little categories. Um, I'm going to do another tutorial in the future that kind of goes into a little more detail of how I look at this one as well. Um, but just to give you a quick little overview in case this is something you would be interested in, um, you have by group or by term. So if you do it by term, it shows you the categories. So the allergens, um, is something that comes up with the bacteria. And then you can see all the bacteria. You can click on the specific um, bacteria and then it'll show you what it is affecting. So this one in particular is affecting a chromosome at a low cost, which is lack of function at what percent and for roughly how many years. Um, but you can kind of get an idea of um, what that looks like. And then by group, if you're looking again at specific areas, you can go like, I want to make sure I'm like working on my mitochondria so I can pull my mitochondria up. These are some allergens that might be influencing my, I, my mitochondria at a lack of function or uh, causing lack of function or causing inflammation at what percent and how long. Um, and then it goes through the bacteria, the brain, spine, chemicals, the emotions is really amazing here. Um, food sensitivities, heavy metals, hormones, miasms, mold, and fungus. Um, those are the things that come with phase two. Um, phase three goes into a lot more detail and things that I don't fully understand. Um, but I've worked with some practitioners and showing demos and they're like, oh my gosh, this would be so helpful. Um, so again, it really depends on what your intention is. Just another quick reminder to make sure to always email your reports. Um, but that is the quick and dirty of how I kind of look through a report on the comprehensive. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or um, send me a message, um, get in contact with me and we can discuss further. I hope this was helpful and have a great day.